Hey, what's up everybody? So uh, this is actually going to air today on the same day I'm filming it, which is crazy. Um, but, you know, I guess it's in the moment stuff. Phyrexia, all will be one. What does everybody think of this set so far even before opening, right? This thing looks super powerful. Like, it looks... <clears throat> they came out of Brothers War, good set. I think uh, it's almost universally thought of as a good set. Um, Dominaria Remastered, while there are collector types out there that are really mad about that product. The players aren't. Uh, really cool set. Then Phyrexia All Will Be One. Just back to back to back. That's three really good sets in a row. It's kind of crazy. And this set looks... It, it, it looks obscene. Actually, it, it looks like it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to dominate standard for a while. Uh, if you care about such things. But it even then has... It's going to make a large impact on Commander. It's probably going to make a large impact on uh, Modern, but we'll see. It's definitely going to make an impact on Pioneer. Either way, this is my first collector box and the first uh, of this I've opened on, on this channel. I wish I did have an Elish Norn playmat, really to go with the whole aesthetics, but I do not. So my old buddy Ginger Taxis is here. The Praetor I probably most uh, associate personally with. <laughs> <laughs> is Ginger Texas? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so because now local game stores have channels, y'all have seen this already. Like this is nothing new. Um, there's already a whole bunch of videos of people opening this. Unfortunately, since I'm just a regular ordinary person, I have to wait for product like everybody else. It's just the way it is. So this is my first time opening it. I'm excited. Um, I. I Yes, did they do maybe too many treatments? Maybe, 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 I don't know. The Step and Completes look kind of cool. I'm kind of excited to actually check them out in person. The Oil Slicks interest me a ton, but of course those are only in the Complete Editions uh, bundles, which are not coming out until March. Uh, so we got some time before that. So let's open a... That's right, it's Japanese printed. Good stuff. So you got uh, <laughs> Miss Death by Snoo Snoo here, the Rebel. So then, is it going to be immediately below this, like the Dominaria Remastered collector boxes? I think so. It is. Okay. We're going to start off with, oh, Slobad. Slobad in the foil. Are we just calling this borderless? Um, is, this, is this what we're referring to this as? I don't know what exactly is going to be a hit yet. I assume Slobad will be one of those that we'll see play, but won't be a really expensive card. Venser. Okay. Poor Venser, huh? Gives up his spark to Karn. I think that's what he did, right? And then all heck is breaking loose. Is now he's dead and merged with... What did he get merged with? Is it Memnark? The remnants of Memnark? So I'm not going to do the same separation I always do. Mythic so will go here. Because uh, I don't know what's going to be here yet. So that's the stepping complete. That is shiny. That is, that is glossed out. Super glossed. Holy crap. It's neat. We'll see. We'll see. And then it's just a normal foil common in the... Seriously, is this... I didn't look beforehand. Is this showcase? So those are borderless and that's showcase. Is that what we're doing here? I feel like Rudy right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I should have did better research. <clears throat> Furnace Punisher. Okay, so then you're going to get some uncommons in common, so that's non-foil. Then you get an extended art, assume commander card, containment grafter. I wonder if uh, this is an exclusive or if this is in... Uh, or if that's in here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I had to go. had to run out and get some stuff this morning. So commander card. Oh, hey, Urbrass Forge. Cool. Low-key, one of the cards uh, I was excited about. Because I've become much more of an aggressive Rakdos player than I ever thought I would ever be in my entire life. Norn's Wellspring. I have seen this card, and what did it do again? Okay. Oh, I actually can put that to immediate use. Immediate, as in right after this video. This is going in a deck. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's, that, that artwork's awesome. Ooh. Yep, figures. Elena Danner. I think all of her artwork is pretty much awesome. That's why I have, like, what, three of her playmats signed? She's she's pretty much great. 
Yeah, that's awesome. That's a cool island. Then we got some uncommons. So I have something going much, much slower, right? First time I'm opening it, I'm gonna take my sweet time with this. Okay, like a normal like a normal collector pack. Phyrexian Atlas. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Lim card in limited. Alright. That was pack one. Was pack one good? No, no mythics, but man, this set is loaded on mythics. Like a lot of the mythics. The Dominuses are phenomenal. You got Crater, you got Nissa Hoof, Behemoth. More Death by Snoo Snoo. Mind Splicer Apparatus. Yeah, the Mythics, or sorry, rares and artifacts like these. This, uh, the Conduit of, God, I forgot what it was called. I, I want to find one of those. So that's a Foil Extended Art Mind Splice Apparatus, which is pretty cool. I didn't really make a, I guess you'll just go in that pile. All right. Graz. <laughs> uh, who was that artwork by? Kute. That's cool looking. That is that is a I uh, I made a joke. I forgot whose stream it was. Is that, you know, that we have so many black and white cards in this set. And we're all kind of like, oh, that's cool. But, like, then we hated the black and white cards from, from uh, Double Feature. I know they're not the same thing. <laughs> I get it. I just, I, I'm amused in the in the thought process. Um, but Graz, turning all your stuff into juggernauts, right? Flood the board, go nuts with juggernauts. I dig it. I don't know how good it is, but I dig it. Okay, you got the step and complete. So there's going to be, a, I guess, a lot of uncommons. Um, I didn't watch all the videos, or I should say. I watched some, but I, I didn't keep too much track of everything. I'm assuming then there's one mythic per box out of that slot. That's probably a safe bet. Blade and Ambusher in the foil. Okay, yeah, the, these uncommon common slots here, I'm not going to do much with these right now. Sky Hunt hey, the Sky Hunters are back. The Leonins. Strike Force, huh? Flying melee. What is melee? What is that? I don't. I'm not familiar with that keyword. What does that do? I'm gonna look it up right after the video. Just, but what? What is melee? <laughs> I've never seen that before. I wasn't around for the last Phyrexia run, uh, Mirrodin and Phyrexia. I was not around Magic at all, right? So what I know from that set are really things that have been reprinted in like master sets and stuff like that. As long as okay. Okay, and then your other okay other creatures. What is melee? You couldn't explain it on the card. You have you could move some text and you could explain what melee is. Hey, Black Sun's Twilight, sweet. Another card I was hoping to hoping to find. Oh, and then we got Azuri. So this is the pack foil slot. People, uh. What's funny about Azuri here is that also I'm going to be immediately slotting this into a deck. <laughs> immediately. Oh, cool. Okay, so you, all right. So you can get like a basic full art or you can get a Phyrexian land. Oh, cool. Oh, and they didn't put them in every single pack so they're gonna actually maintain some kind of desirability. Gotcha, wizards, gotcha. I see what you're doing. And we got the Hork Whip. Throwing birds back. Of course it is. It, it goes perfectly in this set, doesn't it? And of course you got rats. All right. So we got more Death by Snoo Snoo. Hey, we got a Mythic finally. Drivnoid Carnage Dominus in the foil. Foil, uh, whatever you, uh, we'll, we'll just call it showcase. Um, oh, that's right. This is, it's right. This is the one that I am immediately slotting into Tesa. It is a backup for Tesa. That's right. Oh, cool. Atraxa. Uh, what does everybody think about this Atraxa? It, it, it's, um, it, I've heard nothing but it's a good stuff commander. But what is it? I don't know. Seems neat. I don't know. Rhea Ivor. So I know a character that was introduced in the last cycle. So I wasn't as I'm not as familiar with her, but then she got Phyrexianized. What is Battlecry? 
Oh my god, what is with these keywords? That is cool looking though. That is... You gotta get in the right light, but that is really cool. That, that one looks cool. Fine, fine. That, that's not a mythic. Okay. Yeah, slaw blade, skip, scourge. Oh, cool. Vishgaraz. Not that I didn't already get one, getting one in that commander deck, but still. Extended art Vishgaraz. So it won't uh, curl up on you. <laughs> the filigree Silex, huh? Is this disappointing like the other Silexes? Uh, it's slow. Yeah, it's slow. Oh, cool. Blue Sun Zenith. I'm digging I, this, whatever this slot is here, the, the regular pack foil version. I just keep getting cards I actually am kind of hoping to find. They're not, I don't think any of these, I don't, Norn's Wellspring, Azuri, Blue Sun Z uh, Twilight. I don't think these are going to be big money cards or anything, but it's like these are cool cards I was kind of hoping to find. That's sweet. All right. Ooh. Phyrexianized. By the way, I do apologize for those that kind of tuned into my value for my speed running. I'm not doing that on this particular video. I'm really enjoying this product. It, like the, the visuals of the of this collector series that they did, this is outstanding. It's so nice. It's it's a gorgeous set from from a visual perspective. They really knocked it out of the park. Like even if you don't love the stepping completes. And like you got the, the special artwork, like the, you know, that, that grass artwork. That, that artwork is awesome. I almost wish there was one in color. All right, next pack. Mirin Safe House. One of the, okay, what are you? Uh, all right. I don't, eh, okay. That's a card. I'm, I'm not putting it on top. <laughs> Arcfiend of the Dross. Yeah, I've seen that one already. Stepping complete on a, a common, the Rust Vine Cultivator. Going to move on. Going to get a little faster here with some things here. The, even the texture of the, the Stepping Complete cards are way different. Goblin Hatchery, or sorry, Goliath Hatchery. Okay, I will read that later. A lot of text. Hey, Red Sun Zenith. Neat. Actually, what does that do? Ah, uh, too bad you got to exile him, but then the car would be overpowered if you didn't have to. Okay, Monument to Perfection. That's a lot of stuff. I'll read you later. Ooh. Yeah. They're good. They're good. Even though I already drew that one, or pulled that one. Century, Canker Bloom. Is there any commons or uncommons so far that's been pointed out to you that really looks stunning before I have to look through them all? Comment below. Like ones that really stand out, like these are gonna be killer uncommons or comments. Just just some just some just wondering. Just wondering what people's thoughts are. Alright, so we have two mythics so far. Hey, we got a mite. What's this? Hey, we got a Hey the Wanderer! In the uh I don't know if you want to call it horror anime or, or sorry, horror manga artwork. Oh, cool. In the foil. That is a rare. So they did they made that a rare. Oh, that's right. Had the fast lands, the allied fast lands, right? What is that? It must be part of the artwork. Okay, Copperline Gorge. I didn't really leave a place for. Uh, uh, I did not leave a place for lands. I forgot about the fast lands. Oh, sheesh. Okay, that's stunning. Uh, is there any lines on it? There is horizontal line. Let's see if I can get it on there. I've heard that these hit. Yeah, there it is. Tons of roller lines. These have had major issues with them. But that that's not that bad. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, no, there's a vertical one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Ribbon Ship by Moonshot. Uh, Lance, he he pointed that out pretty heavily on, on almost like every single one he's pulling has roller lines. So that's fascinating. Still, still, regardless, that is stunning. And this Vraska looks like an absolute nightmare to play against. 
Okay, Necrogen Rot Priest, Phyresis Outbreak, which seems cool. Mercurial Spell Dancer, Arcfiend of the Dross again, that time in the regular pack foil, and a Shield Red Swamp. Okay, yep, cards and stuff. Okay, are we halfway through? We are not. We're not even halfway through the box. Holy crap, I am taking forever on one box. If you're new to the channel, this isn't my normal. <laughs> um, I guess every single one's going to have a Rebel. Miglo's Maze Crusher, huh? Uh, eh. Yeah, Thrun, you can never complete Thrun. He just keeps on keeping on. All right, we got Urbraska's Anoiter. Glimmer Lens for Mirrodin. Scroop, hey. This is another card I was kind of hoping to pull for myself. The Hive. Love it. The Seed Core for one of the new Spear Cycle. Oh. Yeah, those are, those are sweet. I hope they don't. I mean, they're Japanese printed, so we probably won't have that problem, but I hope they don't curl. All right, now we're halfway through the box, and we're already 16 and a half minutes into this video. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm taking way too much time. All right, what do we got here? Kaya. Okay. Also in the... What do, we, what do we even want to call it? Do we want to just call it anime artwork? Manga artwork? Is that, is that even Kaya? That's one weird looking... Oh! Okay, I see it now. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Kaya. Slow bed. Bone Picker. I can get past those parts quick. Oh, wait. That's the Step and Complete. I think after this video, I will not be separating out Steps and Completes if they're commons or uncommons. Just this one. Okay. Mirage Mockery. Dragon Wing Glider. Huh? Okay. Flying in haste. Super expensive to equip. Yep, whatever. Hey, all right. Another Herbrass Forge because we got to get some duplication because it's a collector box. Mountain, Serum Corch, yeah, Chimera, Vraska's Fall seems cool. All right, now we are past the halfway point. That was actually the halfway point. All right, come on, we are we're at three mythics so far. Let's uh, let's find. Some. I can't have open a collector box and only get like five mythics. Come on, Lux Artillery. That is, is that a commander card? That is, that is a commander extended art. Tyvar in the non foil. I'm getting all the planeswalkers, I guess. Except for the one that I want. Which is, you know, Nissa of Behemoth. Ah. Yeah, in general, yeah, I kind of, I kind of just wanted Nissa of Behemoth. All right, we got uh, not so much Raska, but that's all right. Raska is cool. Clever Concealment, which is pretty sweet. Any number of target non-land permits you control phase out. And, and yeah, that, that seems sweet. All right, Mycosynth Gardens. I have seen that. Oh, okay, Pack Foil Mythic. So Pandrel, another one of the Dominuses. Swamp, Necrosquito, Apostle of Invasion. Draw Spellbomb. New Spellbomb, huh? Okay. So four packs left. If you're still sticking with me, thank you. Sorry for taking my sweet, sweet, sweet time. Maybe I shouldn't apologize. Mythic! Okay, we have a foil uh, Exil, the daughter of Atraxa, if you will, uh, in the foil extended art. We got Glissa in her new card. Oh, cool. Phyrexian Vindicator. That's the, uh, essentially the flip side of, uh, God, was it Phyrexian Obliviator? Obliviator? Yeah. The, obli the obli uh, can't speak. I mean, I'm not as stunned on that one. It's just kind of, eh. It's fine. Roller lines. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
No, not so much. Oh, there's one. Okay. Hard to find them, though. Bone Cooker Scourge, Blade Ambassador, Worm Quake. Tablets of Completion. Okay. <sighs> Super. I mean, I know there's ways to then, you know, put way more counters on. Obviously works with the all the proliferation going on, but eh, eh. it's fine. Mig Laws in the pack foil. Comments, comments, comments. Okay. Next up. So every single one is going to have a rebel in the back, I can tell. Azuri in the showcase foil. Kaito, because again, we're going to get all of the planeswalkers, I guess. Oh, sweet. Oh, no, this isn't the one I was thinking it was. Never mind. But it is a step and complete Malkator. Scamp, blah, blah, blah. Guest summons. And the Mirix. Bloated Contaminator. Oop, what was that? Some kind of other new spell bomb. Maze spell bomb, huh? Skull bomb. Not even a spell bomb. Skull bomb. This has got to be more brutal because it's Phyrexia we're talking about here. Okay, two packs left. See, I'm getting through the rest of this now. <laughs> There's a lot of people that were arguing on Twitter about the fact that this is a mid card. What are your thoughts? Is it mid? Either way. Extended art foil. Oh, sweet, Vran, cool. This is, a, this is one of the cards I was hoping to pull. Nice. What I really want, what I really, really, really want is I want a stepping complete uh, Praetor concept. That's uh, a Vorinplex. That's really what I want. Anoiter. Wait, wait, that, wait, that, that was one of those. Okay, just didn't show up. Norn's uh, Choir Master, huh? Whenever a commander you control enters the battlefield or attacks, proliferate. Hmm, not bad. There we go. That's a card I was looking for. The Conduit of Worlds. It might be a little slow. I don't know, but I think it's really cool. And. <laughs> This card might be a danger to everybody. Venerated Rot Piece, a priest. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. Rot Priest, blah, blah, blah. The Fair Basilica. All right, last pack. Was this box good? Um, I'm going to actually venture and say probably not. I don't think this was necessarily a spicy box, but not terrible either, but not a spicy box. And that's okay. Phyrexian Jace. Okay, by Rexy and Jace. That is another mythic. Hopefully, so what is that? Is that seven mythics? Oh, God. Seven mythics in a collector box? Hopefully there's one more in here. <laughs> yes! Yes! Uh, Dami Mami. Oh, uh, in the Junji Ito artwork. Oh, cool. Sweet. Okay. I don't care if it's not foil or not. Whatever. Awesome. That is, that is a, that's a good, that's a good card. And then we got a scamp in the, to finish off the uh, step and complete. Why do they even call it step and complete? What does that even mean? Another anointer, because those are going to be dime a dozen. Hey, Urtet, cool. That's a sweet pull in the extended art. The monumental facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, and a blit. Okay, three mythics in this pack. So, the box caught up. Good. So, Phyrexian Obliterator getting the reprint, and it's going to be in standard where it is going to be an absolute terror. Especially in a standard that already just had a whole ton of black support and is running shield red. Okay. All right, so that's going to be it for this box. That's it. It ended really well. It ended really well. Um... Yeah, you know, I don't know what else I can really say about this particular product. It, it seems like a slam dunk. I, I am the only thing I'm hearing 
that I'm seeing around or people almost start complaining it's like too strong, um, which I can understand, right? But it kind of feels like it is. And then they're on a good streak right now. I just wish they would slow down on the product releases so we can enjoy it. Brothers of War feels like a year ago. Thanks for watching. Bye.